Films. And that's your news flash for September. Count on Classic Movie News for your update on today's entertainment for the classic movie fan. See you in October. Hey there, welcome to TCM everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz filling in for Robert Osborne. Coming up, we have a pair of movies co-starring off-screen rivals Betty Davis and Miriam Hopkins. And we start with the first of the two movies they made. From Warner Brothers in 1939, it's the drama The Old Maid. The film is set in Philadelphia between the 1860s and the 1880s when a woman could spend her entire life paying for what was considered a serious indiscretion. And while our two stars, Hopkins and Davis, get along on screen, they actually despised one another. Hopkins was a woman who more than any other actress could drive Betty Davis mad with rage. Hopkins did have a few good reasons for disliking Betty Davis. When Davis was starting out in the business, Hopkins was a huge star. By the time they worked together on The Old Maid, Davis was by far the bigger name and received the star treatment from Warner Brothers, treatment Hopkins no longer warranted. Another point of contention, Hopkins had starred in a stage version of Jezebel, and it was a disaster. Meanwhile, Davis did the movie version and won an Academy Award for it. But all that is gum in magazines compared to the real source of their tension. Betty Davis had an affair with director Anatole Litvak, and that affair came at a time when Litvak was married to, say it with me now, Miriam Hopkins. But despite the resentment, on screen, they managed to play cousins who care deeply for one another. From 1939, directed by Edmund Golding, also with George Brent and Donald Crisp. Here's The Old Maid. 